Hi all, how are you? I am good. Thank you for asking. Today's video is a special video. It is the controversial parenting tag. And not only that, it is a collaboration with a couple other creators from YouTube. So the list of everyone participating will be down in my description box. And we need to say a big thank you to A Lynn from AJ Plus Two. Um, she she has an adorable set of twins. So go check her channel out if nothing else than to see her beautiful babies. So thank you Aylin for having this collab happen. Please go check everyone out in the description box. I need to introduce myself. My name is Jessica. I'm a mom of four. I have an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old who is currently supposed to be napping, but he isn't. And I love tags. I do all kinds of mom videos, a lot of just day in the life kind of stuff. I'm just kind of like a mm, whatever goes a vlogger. So if you like that, please consider subscribing as you watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. This is always a fun tag because you get either people that agree with you or people that disagree with you so badly they want to come murder you in your sleep. Not really. It'll be interesting to see how much the YouTube world has not matured. So the con controversial parenting tag, and it says, what are your stances on, number one, pro-life or pro-choice? Pro-life. Number two, baby wearing? Sure, there's nothing wrong with baby wearing. I don't care if you baby wear until they're three, but I could never do it <laughs> for more than like five minutes. I'm just not built to baby wear. Um, I am too short and too wide, and it's just weird. Circumcision? Again, that's your choice. <sighs> Medically, they're saying that now it doesn't have to happen, but there are all those, you know, studies out there that say it has to happen. So that's between you and your partner. It can be done. I mean, you can have an uncircumcised child and have a healthy child. I should know. My boys are not cut. And they're fine. Adoption, number four. Yes, I would rather see a baby get adopted out than aborted. And if you can responsibly adopt and add to your family, great. Uh, number five, baby piercing. I'm assuming we're talking about the ears. And I'm going to say, sure. My girls are not. I have friends on both sides, friends that have pierced their daughter's ears and friends that have not. My girls will be at least 10 before they get their ears pierced. That's just how I was raised. I didn't get my first hole until 10. So however you want to do it is fine. That's not a make or break topic. Number six, breast milk or formula. There is nothing wrong with either. I would encourage every new mom to breastfeed or to at least try, but breastfeeding does suck. Some people can stick it out, some people cannot. I made it two months with my first baby and then I switched over to formula life and he's a healthy boy. All of my children have had breast milk and all of my children have had formula and they're fine. They're great. Nothing's wrong with either one of those. Number seven, cry it out method versus other. So I don't know what other means, like run to them when they cry. Yes, sure, cry it out when it's done responsibly not in a neglectful way, not in an abusive way. There are proper ways to do cry it out. I suggest you look those up, but I have done cry it out with my children. Not little tiny babies though. My, we start cry it out at about six months, but if they're newborn, oh my gosh. I see people that say, oh my newborn cries it out and he's like two weeks old. No, that's when it's not okay. But if you have an older child, you know, six months is older for me, <laughs> then you can start doing it responsibly, the right way. Number eight, spanking. Yes, done properly, not out of anger, not abusive, and never anywhere but the butt. And I do spank. And my children are wonderful. Number nine, co-sleeping. So you can co-sleep bed sharing or you can co-sleep room sharing. We room share. My children do not sleep in my bed ever, ever. From one day old, the only time my children sleep in my bed is when they are still in my womb. But once they are out, you are not sleeping in my bed, kid. Um, just because 
I don't. It's, you know, that bed is for me and my husband. They sleep on the end of my bed in a bassinet. And then when they outgrow the bassinet, they go to their crib and in a bed. And if you come wake me up in the middle of the night, I will come hug you, kiss you, tuck you in, give you a drink, chase the monsters away, but you are not sleeping in my bed. Number 10, home versus public versus private versus charter schooling. Just educate your children. Public schooling is not at the top of my list. We have a very good like school system in Colorado. There's not very many districts that are lower than par, but you know, public schooling is lower than par. Public schooling is going to the crapper. Um, I went to a private school and that was very expensive. Um, my children went to a charter school last year and we loved it. Oh my gosh, I hated leaving that school. We were looking at the charter school here in our area now and they do not have their ducks in a row because they wanted a giant amount of money. And it's just my belief that charter schools should not be asking for almost as much money as a private school would be asking for, for tuition. I am homeschooling this year. If you're not one of my normal viewers and you don't know that about me, we have delved, delved, dived into the land of homeschooling and it's hard. I don't know what people, I'm properly homeschooling is hard work. So, but listen to me, if public school is all you have, like that's your only option, do that because that is better than nothing. I spent the first like 10 years of my life just running around my neighborhood, not going to school because my mother didn't homeschool me and we weren't sent to school. So I would rather see a child in a any kind of school than not. Number 11, vaccination. Vaccinations, either way, again, either way, I do not believe that they cause illnesses or disabilities. I think that is predetermined in your genes. I'm sorry, but a shot is not gonna do that to you. We do vaccinate, um, we do delay though. You're not gonna stick my newborn with six different things all at once. Um, uh, we start our shots at six months and we space them out like one or two at a time, not six freaking vaccinations at a time. Number 12, medicating children. So what does that mean? Like, are you talking about like Tylenol, ibuprofen, Orogel, essential oils? Or are you talking about like medicating? Like I live in Colorado, medicating. I don't think there's anything wrong like I've said the whole time, maybe I'm the most boring person on this tag, do it responsibly. If your child has some kind of illness, disease, whatever, and they need more than just conventional medicine, that's fine. Do it responsibly. Don't withhold things like CBD oil and... um. What's the, what's the next step up? The, the next one up from that. But anyway, either way, if your kid has a fever, give them some Tylenol or ibuprofen. Teeth hurt? I really wouldn't recommend Orgel or the teething tablets. We do essential oils. So I usually turn to those first. Um, and then, you know, if, you know, don't, over medicate your child with something that they really should not have but if there's a necessity for it for quality of life fine let's see mm -mm. 13 cloth versus disposable diapers I have done both all of my children have been in cloth diapers all of my children have been in disposable diapers cloth diapering is not as hard as it used to be mine were a hundred percent cotton cloth diapers and um, you throw them in the wet bin when they're dirty, you scrape the stuff out of them if they're that dirty, and then you wash them. And I usually washed mine with just Tide. Uh, don't use fabric softeners because then they won't soak up. The peel just run out of them. Put them in the sun every once in a while. Use a bleach load every once in a while to strip them so that they continue to absorb. But really, cloth diapering is not as hard as it used to be. They make it very very family friendly. My kids have done both. I like both. Right now we're just doing disposables because 
with the moving and everything, I have not gotten my cloth diapers out. But when Pierce potty trains, he will be in cloth diapers because I refuse. My children have never had a pull up touch their butt. I potty train in cloth diapers because if you take the insert out, it's just like underwear. And number 14, last but not least, store-bought baby food versus homemade. If you have the time and the energy to go buy produce and then make it into baby food or meat into baby food or whatever, that is great. Good job, mom. I do not. <laughs> I've done it a couple times and I've not liked it every time. Um, so I just, I've always done jarred. What? Talking about baby food. I don't care how you ba I don't care how you feed your baby as long as you feed your baby. Like say this is baby number one and you want to go over all organic, great. But I'm on baby number four and I just don't care anymore. <laughs> Survival is the name of the game at this stage. <laughs> just make sure your kid is loved for, cared, loved for. Just make sure your baby or your kid or your baby or whatever, whoever you're caring for is cared for, loved. Don't raise criminals. Don't raise disrespectful brats and we'll all be good. Cause deep down at the end of the day, none of this matters. If you're not raising a success, success, ha, 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 ha. Mm, successful human being. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too boring. There's really not much that I am controversial on unless you want to pick a fight about it. Um, if you want me to elaborate any more on any of these subjects, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know whose video did you come from? Thank you for visiting. If you're new, thank you for coming back. If you've been here before, please like this video with a thumbs up. That helps my channel because YouTube sees that and goes, oh, somebody liked her video. That's great. And also subscribe. Like I said, remember, consider subscribing. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already and hit that notification bell next to the subscription button so that YouTube will tell you when my next video comes up. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.